hey guys welcome back so if you didn't watch my first video which i highly recommend because i talk about the astrological energy going on and what we can expect over the next two days i'm doing this a little different talking about the one in crescent moon i've already pulled the cards um they have not been looked at they are all face down here with me so um i am basically going to get this started and read these cards for us so the first pile is where where we are right now right what it is that we have going on so we're focused on let's see this side we're focused on don't damning to fit in really sharing who it is that we are um moving from uh our soul expression you know and acknowledging and embracing ourselves and being whoever it is that we are without worrying about the opinions of others that is so important this may take some work we are needing constant movement to keep this going but in this this will bring um more heightened relationships bringing relationships that are connected on a very spiritual and soul level very crystalline level um having experienced this before uh having had this connection in previous lifetimes and with this we are being called to we are being called to transition with all of this energy that is going on right now you know so we are shining with being a selfish leo season we are ready to be seen and we are willing to be seen you know and making great connections in this and also unifying aspects of ourself like really letting that yin and that yang shine within us listening to ourselves and acting on it you know and transitioning into this phase it's taking work we're gonna have to show up but that's okay it's all right so what we're coming into is we are transforming on a deep and cellular level right so we are letting go of the old so that we can come into new inspirations within ourselves uh accepting that whole venus and leo energy that um that 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 love that beauty that those high values those high sense of self-worth you know um feeling feeling ourselves you know and choosing we're harboring this within us and making the decision to act on it right and we are going to act on it we got the ten of fire here with this so this is um we are protected during this don't worry about any obstacles that come up because they will be faced um and jupiter here is helping us expand in this in a benevolent way you know so we have scorpio here and this is that deep transformation on a cellular level this is releasing old karmic ties that moon opposition to pluto this these past these next two days you know and really changing how it is that we see ourselves how we see life how we see who it is that we relate to how we see ourselves in our intimate relationships um just rebirthing a new life that of course is gonna take some work you know and it can be tiring it, it can It'll be overwhelming because like i said over the weekend new ch with new change comes you know that that area where you're needing to figure it out so we're figuring things out and we're moving into it and our advice is to enter temple to de devotion tune into our our portal within you know and to make sure we establish proper boundaries take stock of where it is that we've been so that we can fully come into where it is that we're going and to vision to envision what it is where it is that we're going so that we can arrive there in a way that we seem worthy that we our high values that high worth that high sense of self-worth right so um and 
the advice is to flourish within this, you know? So listen to yourself, tap into that intuition, set your boundaries, take stock of where you've been, take a pause if you need to so that this integration can go more smoothly. Vision, see where it is that you're going, work with whoever it is that you need to work with during this time so that you can flourish. You know, that is our advice and the message for these next two days. I had to pause the video. It's an airport right up the street. And so the plane, hold on. Okay, sorry guys. So the plane was really low, really loud. <laughs> so the message, wow, this is very interesting. Um, so we have the message is to so call in your tribe. By doing all of this, we're we're bringing in people who understand us, who relate to us, who we don't have to explain ourselves to, you know, and in that we are breaking through the illusions. We are finding women who are supportive of us. We are taking the time to move forward in our decisions. You know, we are listening to ourselves. Um, and if we're not, we need to start today. Like, don't wait. We need to go within. That's what this cancer moon is all about. That deep, intuition going in and going deep right so we got message from air this is to continue to go on with what it is that we're doing and in this we will receive receive the results it is that we are trying to receive within this and we got the 11th house which is very similar to soul family this will help us um we are choosing who it is that we want to be around aside from choosing we are uh, focusing on our goals here. We are coming into fruition with our goals. We are aligning ourselves with our goals and establishing what it is that we need to do, who it is that we need to be in moving toward that, you know, and maybe even finding new organizations, new, um, new groups to get with that can help us in this. This might be where our soul family is. You know, so take some time with that. Sit with that for real. And the animal part we got is the raccoon. Raccoons find things anywhere and they make do with it, right? So you have everything it is that you already need. You don't need to go buy nothing. You don't need to uh, change anything. Well, no, let me not say nothing. You might need to change something within, but you don't need to go buy anything. You have everything it is that you already need. You don't need to go searching for it. it it's already there. Um, you may just need to start utilizing some things. You may need to begin to switch around some things, maybe make use of things that you don't use, you know, things like that. So the raccoon, he is the one who makes things happen in the dark. So that is what all of this cancer is about is the darkness it's the water it's the di deep diving it's the going within so i hope that this message resonates with you i hope that it's helpful if you need anything hit me up and i will see you guys on the new moon on wednesday bye peace and all of that <laughs>